like there's an answer. I mean, yes. I know I'm the world's optimist, <laughs> but it feels like there's been so much bad going down that we're looking at it and saying, what, what went wrong here in Ferguson? What, what happened here? Baltimore, we had indictments. Yes. So maybe we are learning, coming from out of this, this, this pyre in, into some kind of light. I, I think there's no question about it. I was lucky enough to get to know um, Trayvon Martin's parents and his brother extremely well. I actually had dinner with Sabrina Fulton just a couple weeks ago. And, sh and I think this movement, this sort of new civil rights movement, this Black Lives Matter movement started in Sanford, Florida, mm -hmm. quite frankly. And what she explained to me is she feels that her son's death was not in vain because it started this right. um, conversation and it started the movement. And uh -huh. there is a movement and it's getting better. And I want to be really hopeful to people because I get to see it on the ground mm -hmm. um, and I have felt a difference. Mm -hmm. When I was in Ferguson and I saw you know, Humvees, or, or rather armored cars <laughs> coming towards me. I was with Anderson wow. Cooper. It was shocking to see this sort of police military, oh, but I didn't see that in Baltimore. The mayor of Baltimore made it very clear to me that she learned a lesson from what happened in Ferguson and she didn't want to over-militarize her police force. Uh -huh. And so I think that we are seeing real, real change because of, of what's happening. It's, it really is the new civil rights movement. You know, I mean, I think Trayvon Martin's death is sort of like Rosa Parks sitting on the bus. Uh -huh. I think we're seeing that change when it comes yeah. to policing. A game changer. It's a game changer, yeah.